welcome back to our channel tax master in this video we will discuss how to check a capacitor how to test a capacitor using digital and analog multimeter add methods so we will discuss this add method one by one in most electrical and electronics troubleshooting and repairing works we face a common problem with capacitor where we want to know how to test and check a capacitor it is good bad dead short or open here we can make check capacitor with analog as well as digital multimeter either the capacitor is in good or should be replaced it with a brand new one to find the value of capacitance you need an analog or digital multimeter with capacitance measuring features blow our eight method to check and test that a capacitor is good defective open or that or short how to test a diode using digital analog multimeter test a capacitor using digital multimeter resistance mode to test a capacitor by digital multimeter in the resistance or ohm mode follow the given step below make sure the capacitor is fully discharged set the meter on the ohmic range set at least one kilo ohm connect the multimeter probe to the capacitor terminal negative to negative and positive to positive digital multimeter will show some number of a second not the reading and then immediately it will return to the over open line and infinity every every attempt of step 2 will show the same result as open in step 4 and 5 it means the capacitor is in good condition if there is no change then capacitor is that that testing capacitor using digital multimeter ohm meter so check the capacitor in anomaly to check a capacitor by avo ampere volt ohm meter and the resistance or ohm follow make sure the suspending capacitor is fully discharged take a av meter rotate the knob of analog meter to select the resistance mode higher the range connect the meter lead to capacitor terminal note the reading and compare with the following results short capacitor shorted capacitor will show very low resistance short capacitor will show very low resistance open capacitor and open capacitor will not show any on the ohmic meter good capacitor initially it will show low resistance and then gradually increase toward the infinite it means that the capacitor lose condition method the checking capacitor with multimeter in capacitance mode Testing capacitor in the capacitance mode can only perform with the analog or digital mode has the Farad capacitor feature. The function of capacitor most in multimeter can also be used to test the tiny capacitor. To do this, rotate the knob of multimeter to a capacitor mode and follow the following basic instruction. Make sure the capacitor is fully discharged. Remove the capacitor from the circuit board. Now select capacitance on the multimeter. Now connect the capacitor terminal to the multimeter leads, red to positive and black to negative. If the reading is near to actual value of capacitor, then the capacitor is in good condition. Note that the reading may be less than the actual value of capacitor, rated value of capacitor due to tolerance. If you are read a significant lower capacitance or not at all, then the capacitor is dead and you should change it new proper operation testing capacitor using capacitance. Testing a capacitor by simple volt. To apply this method on polar or non-polar capacitor, you must know the value of nominal voltage. 
testing of capacitor by simple voltmeter to apply this method on a polar and non polar capacitor nominal voltage of capacitor the level of voltage is already printed on the name plate of electrolytic capacitor while there are specific codes printed on ceramic and smd capacitor you may follow this guide which show how to read and find the value of ceramic and non polar capacitor with related code prints on it also you can use the dc voltage or volt mode in digital analog meter to perform this test make sure to disconnect a single lead no worries if positive or negative capacitor from circuit you may fully disconnect as well if needed check the capacitor voltage rating printed on it now charge this capacitor for a few seconds to rate value but less than that charge at 16 volt capacitor with 9 volt battery if the value of battery voltage is greater than the nominal voltage of capacitor it will damage or burst the capacitor voltage make sure the connect positive red lead <coughs> so so here is the method of checking the capacitor so we are in method for testing capacitor by simple voltmeter to apply this matter on a polar not polar capacitor you must know the value of nominal voltage of capacitor then level of voltage is ready printed the name plate of electrolyte capacitor while there are specific codes printing on ceramic and smd capacitor you made the guide which show how to read capacitor which is in related articles also you can use the dc voltage or volt mode in the digital or analog multimeter to perform this test make sure to disconnect a single lead or negative of a capacitor from circuit you may fully disconnect as well if needed check the capacitor voltage rating printed now charge the capacitor for a few seconds to the rated not exact value but less than that i charge or 16 volt capacitor with 9 volt battery if the value of battery voltage is greater than the nominal voltage of battery capacitor it will damage or burst capacitor voltage make sure the connect the positive red lead to voltage source and to the positive lead to end the negative to negative if you are not sure or unable to find the proper leads here in the same tutorial set the value of voltmeter to the dc voltage and connect the capacitor to the voltmeter by connecting the positive wire of the battery to the positive lead of the capacitor and negative to negative you can use a digital or analog multimeter while selecting the dc voltage range from the same purpose but not the initial voltage reading in the voltmeter if it is close the supplied voltage you gave the capacitor to capacitor is in good condition if it show far less reading capacitor is dead then not that the voltmeter show the reading for a very short time as the capacitor will discharge it is store volt in the voltmeter testing capacitor using digital multimeter so you can test the capacitor using digital multimeter not the value of capacitor voltage should be less than the battery voltage otherwise it will burst or burn the capacitor test the capacitor by measuring the value of time constant you can find the value of capacitor by measuring the time constant if the value of capacitor capacitor known in the microfarad printed on the capacitor it not blow the burnt at all the time taken by capacitor to charge about 62.2 percent of applied voltage when charged through a known value of resistor is called the time constant of capacitor and can be calculated as t equal to rc where r value of known resistor in ohm c value of capacitor t 
Chow time constant. For instance, if the supply voltage is 9 volt, then 63.2% of the supply voltage is around 5.7 volt. We will use a stopwatch and charge the capacitor until the value reaches. Stop the watch and note the reading of time in second. For more details, now let's see how to find the value of the capacitor by measuring the time constant. Not an oscilloscope, you will do this better than precise value. Make sure to disconnect as well as discharge capacitor from the board. Connect a known value of resistance in series with the capacitor applied the known value of supply voltage to the capacitor connected in series with a 100k resistors now measure the time taken for the capacitor to charge about 63.2 for the applied voltage if the supply voltage is 9 volt then 63.2 then it's around 55.7 volts from the value of given resistors measure time via the stopwatch calculate the value of capacitance by now compare the calculated value of capacitance with the value of capacitor printed to it. If they are the same or nearly equal, the capacitor is in good condition. If you find a noticeable difference in both values, time to change the capacitor as it is not functioning well. Example, suppose we are going to test a 16 volt for 70 microfarad capacitor. If the supply voltage is 9 volt, then 5.7 volt is 63.2% of supply voltage. We will connect the capacitor to the battery for charging and start the stopwatch. When the meter show a 5.7 volt, we will stop the stopwatch. Suppose the stopwatch shows 4.7 second of time duration. Now use the time constant formula. C equals to 4.7 second, 100k ohm. C equals to 0.4. 0.47 mf for 70 microfarad now compare the calculated value of capacitance with the value of capacitor printed on it if the calculated value is nearly equal to having a difference or a plus minus 10 to plus minus 20 the desired capacitor it is good capacitor the calculated value is far away with a noticeable difference the capacitor is faulty in our example, the calculated value is almost the same as the actual value of the capacitor. It means the capacitor is in good condition. So discharge, calculated time taken capacitor to discharge peak voltage can be measured.